They have a $5 million roster bonus due for Eli Manning on Sunday. Uh, they do not plan at this point on releasing him before then. They, they feel like they're going to go with him this year. Now, could plans change? Of course. But Sunday's three days from now, so you'd think the plans would be in motion. Number two, the, based on the reporting I've done, I don't think they're 100% sure that they're going to take a quarterback in the first round of this year's draft. They know they have to address, and Dan's shaking his head, they know they have to address the, the situation of Eli Manning's long-term successor. They, they are aware of that. But they haven't finished their evaluations on Kyler Murray, Dwayne Haskins, Drew Locke, all those guys. So right now they're not 100% sure. And I don't get the sense that they're going to just take a quarterback because they didn't take one last year and they feel like they have to. They know that whoever succeeds Eli Manning has to be the franchise quarterback, and they can't get that decision wrong. So they could use those two first-round picks to help rebuild that defense. You know, they've lost a lot of pieces on defense, and this is a defense-heavy draft. And they could hit the draft next year where the quarterbacks look like they might be better. They could trade for Josh Rosen if he's available. So they know they have some options and they're sorting the, through that. The whole situation makes me think of a story. So I'm not a car person. I'm not a, they just, I don't really care them that much. I had a Jeep Wrangler. This is a couple years ago. I have a Jeep Wrangler. All of a sudden the check engine light goes on. I don't pay attention to it. I'm that idiot who doesn't pay attention to it. <laughs> Months go on. The check engine light's still on. I don't pay any attention to it. The signs are there that something bad is going to happen. The performance of my vehicle is going down. All of a sudden, I'm uh, on the streets of Detroit driving to a Tigers game, and my car stops. The Jeep Wrangler turns off in the middle of the highway. This is what's going on with Eli and the Giants. Yeah. The check engine light is on. The signs are there that the performance is decreasing. And you better fix it or you're going to be stranded in the middle of the highway. And so the, to have the thought press is like, oh, we're not going to take a quarterback this year. You had the second pick last year yeah. and you have the sixth and seventh team this year. It's not like you have the last pick of the first round and you've got to reach for somebody. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Because when Ben McAdoo unceremoniously benched Eli Manning and ended his streak, it was so badly handled and the reaction from the fans was so angry and ugly is that influencing this now? Are they scared to do something with Eli that will look bad? I don't think it's that. I think it's, it's a bigger picture thing. If you looked at this neutra neutrally, in a vacuum, this player has this amount of money due, is this age, and the team is rebuilding, you would say, well, you cut him, you save your $17 million. It's Eli Manning and the Giants. It's a two-time Super Bowl MVP. It's a guy who may be the best quarterback they've ever had, or certainly one of them. He's going to be in the ring of honor. To just dump him when you don't have another option right now to save some money uh, would be, it's, uh, it's, to borrow a Jalen Rose term, it wouldn't be very classy. Eli, you let Eli mentor, mentor him. Though, him. That makes yeah. sense. If you're going to keep Eli, if you're going to keep Eli, the only reason to keep Eli right now yeah. is to allow him to mentor a young kid. Well, the Colts got rid of Peyton Manning. Now, listen, I know there was an injury aspect, but they, the Colts parted from Peyton Manning maybe too soon because they knew, listen, the time is... The time is now for us to look for our future. If you're going to keep Eli, you, you better draft a young quarterback that he can mentor. Cole's parted with Peyton Manning also because he was hurt, which Eli has never been. They sure. know this is a guy that can – look, someone's got to take the snap from center and throw the ball, right? They're gonna, they, they believe he can play better behind a better offensive line. They think Kevin Zeitler he helps just with that. Away his, and Saquon his Barkley is their, is their franchise right now. He's not going to play right better now. with me Eli's playing Eli's job is going to be here. Saquon, here, take the ball. That, that, that's it for one We're year. We're going to play receiver for the Giants this year. All right, well, Three listen, of us. I got great hands.